Hey guys, Jordy here for CineCam and I've just made a new short film called Backup Restore in collaboration with Adobe. Inspired by Terminator Dark Fate, it was really fun to tell my own story. But that story will only work with the right color grading. Color grading is a visual story that goes together with your film. And so in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how I've created my color grading and how you can save your own style to share it with your friends. So start off by opening Lumetri Color. You can also locate it from the menu, Window, and then Lumetri Color. Now, I'm not going to focus on the basic corrections, as there's a separate tutorial about that in the playlist from the description. So let's head over to the color wheels. From here, we can add a chosen color in one of the three levels, shadows, midtones, and highlights. And what I like to do now is create a color contrast. A lot of action movies are based upon this technique and is also referred to as the teal and orange look. We're going to add blue or teal into the shadows. Because shadows are dark and blue is the color that we associate with dark, just think about the moonlight or something cold. And this creates the illusion of having deeper blacks. And now for the midtones, which are the skin tones, or usually our subject. We're going to add the opposite of the color wheel, which is orange. Orange is something warm, the color of the sun. We are drawn to this positive color. So by adding orange to your midtones, your audience will be more drawn to the subject, which is great. Plus, because the shadows have a blue tint, your subject will pop out even more. In other words, we have created a color contrast. Now, there's one fine tuning that I like to add to our color grading. If you ask any colorist, they will always say blacks should be black and not blue. They're talking about the absolute blacks. So let's open up the HSL secondary tab. Through here, we can select a specific color. In our case, I'm going to say select all the colors and select all the saturation levels, but only select the shadows of those colors. You can add a feather to your selection with the bottom triangle. Now, do make sure that you only select the absolute darkest areas because we do like to have some blue in the shadows. And we can then change anything within from the controls below. So let's take some blue out of those absolute blacks by adding the opposite orange color, which will neutralize the blacks and make them black again. If you got trouble doing so, you can also decrease the saturation. So now that I've got a very nice color grading, I'd like to share this with my friends. Well, that's super easy. From the Lumetri color menu, select export look, and then just save it anywhere that you'd like. Now to call up this look, use Lumetri and click on the creative tab. From here, open the drop down menu for looks and select browse. Locate your exported look and hit open to apply it to your clip. It's that easy. Now to check out more tutorials from my short film, you can find a playlist in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative.